what's going on everybody i know this ain't probably the greatest scene and theme that you might want to see on the internet and everything else with all the fancy green screens and all the hoopla and shit but that ain't really what this is about there's no gimmicks behind it project silverback coming at you live if you don't know you're about to find out health wealth knowledge power and all that good shit but what it's really come down to is physical awareness and trying to achieve greatness within yourself other than that i know a lot of people are timid about the gym and this, that, and the other, and you guys are probably questioning why I'm not shooting this in the gym, and why am I in my room, and why does my shit look like the way it does, because it doesn't fucking matter, it just doesn't matter, realistically, it don't, I've been in worse situations, 4 by 4 fucking, or I wouldn't say 4 by 4 but 6 by 10 cells and shit, so, if you make do with smaller spaces and rougher situations, and that's where you turn your stress into success, because at the end of the day, you're always blessed, but... With that being said, I know a lot of people don't have the weights. I know a lot of people don't have certain abilities as far as getting into this, but everybody has an option. You have that choice and you have the values of dedication, discipline, and determination. And those are three things I believe in highly when it comes down to anything realistically in life. I mean, you don't try, you don't put your time in, make it kind of work for you for what it's worth with that 3D value, you're gonna probably turn up failing more so than none. But behind that, I guess I want to say this is more of a documentary in the sense of a diary value as far as being something out of a vision that I don't fucking, I, I personally don't perceive myself as right now. I'm at the lowest points. I want to say weight-wise, muscle-wise, and stuff like that. Granted, I'm not going to lie. I've been doing a little something on the sides as far as a couple workouts throughout the last three weeks. I want to say probably workout on total is like 12. But what I do is a full-body workout routine and basically start to finish till fatigue in that sense or just before I know I might hurt myself more than what it needs to be as far as physical pain because without pain there is no gain but there's a definite level as far as injuries we're trying to not be in the injury factor zone because at 40 41 shit tends, tends to add up but doing nothing ends up being worse because yeah you got muscles that you're not using anymore your pull over back start turning knees start crack lacking just because we're not kids anymore. We're not running around and jumping and riding bikes like we should and this side and the other. So with that being said, Project Silverback. Hopefully a group of unique individual minded individuals out there that can communicate together and create leadership skills within the communities because that's what Project Silverback kind of is about for me. Now I know a lot of people look at the knowledge or I want to say knowledge, but I want to say the, uh, the reference to Silverback being huge and being swole and strong and all that good shit, but I really feel like there's more of a definition behind it when it comes down to the leadership aspects. The uh, Silverbacks are strong. They're very versatile in certain aspects, but they take care of the community. I mean, I know a lot of people talk about the internet aspects and the gorillas are fighting and this, that, and the other, dominating and whatever, whatever values, but realistically, we can be better. We can take care of our peoples within the community. We, we can set tones to help individuals within the gym help individuals with their set goals that might not be achievable at the moment, but with the right direction and the right skill guidance, you can achieve and help them achieve those levels too as well. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do in that sense, starting from nothing and showing people how to slowly progress into something that they can achieve within a reasonable amount of time. So for me, I weighed in recently at 155 pounds. I wasn't too happy about it. And, uh, it was the lowest I've ever been since probably middle school to high school, to be real with you, ninth grade talking. So with the knowledge that I have from my histories as far as basketball, running, track, whatever, like I was multi, multi-athletic, I'd say Taekwondo even. And it broke down to even at a young ignorant mind, I want to say the values of not understanding meditation and understanding the value behind it to help relax the muscles and there's just so much more behind it, which is something we can get into later on if anybody's interested, but realistically, we're here to work out. So ideally, I got a set of 10s and I got a set of 20s. Ideally, I recommend having both because lightweight's always great, less is more, and then get it to a 20, 20 pounds. You can get two sets or a set of those, mucho bush, like mucho bueno, because it gives you a little more weight and it's an average weight that you can work with so you start getting the 30s or 45s 50s even but it's something you can continuously use repetitively always and it's always there from forearms to biceps to 
triceps and all that good stuff. I'll kind of show you guys how to do it. Granted, I don't have a bench in the house. I do have one out back. But again, this is all stuff that you can do inside your room to be able to get to that level as far as getting back into shape. It's 2023 and I know that a lot of people get on that New Year scale and yeah, so be it. We're gonna get it in. <clears throat> for me, I've been doing it now for like I said, the last three weeks, give or take. I have been taking a mask scanner from Naked. I'll show you guys the products behind that. And the only other thing I've taken realistically as far as supplemental values go is Buck Powers uh, Red Deer Antler Velvet pill. So I get the extra strength. I do that every once in a while as far as throughout the months, or I should say throughout the year. And then that way it helps me, I want to say with the testosterone levels I lose as aging. So we all know how that goes. It drops to 25. But again, I'm against cheap code values as far as needles and all that shit. I'm not even a needle fan or pill popping animal. So for me to even take that one pill and the weight mask scanner, that's about it guys. That's all I'm doing. And that's where I've actually progressed now to where I'm at. And I'm still not at my fullest max as far as where we're at. So we'll get into that. I'll try and bear this down to the full pure raw quote unquote naked. So there's no nothing that I'm hiding or anything of that value because there is no reason to. But for that most part, with that being said, we'll go ahead and jump in. Now, I did a little warm up prior to, not too crazy, a couple supersets of 21s, which if you guys don't know, I'll go through some of the movements and the actions to take into that as far as a great superset. I live by, die by these things for over the, over the years. Um, and it's a great one in the sense of bulking and getting your strength back. Now, you can start with 10s or even lighter than that. Like I said, it ain't about blasting weight and throwing around iron just yet. So we don't want to hurt ourselves or any of that value. So when it comes down to it, typically, I got a couple mirrors throughout my house or in my room, I should say. So I can flip and manipulate those and see how my posture is. Matter of fact, we'll back up, step over these. So I got a mirror in front of me and a mirror beside me. God, I'm gonna work on that gut too. But for what it's worth, elbows tight. And all we're gonna do from this one here, I feel coming up halfway or was it full set? No, halfway. So we're going to come up halfway first, and after that seven, we're going to go full. And then after that seven, we're going to cut back down to halfway and up to complete the 21s. So in a sense, it goes something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can release back down if you want. I like two, and then full curl. One, two, Three, four, five, six, and seven. And I won't come all the way down because I'm going to do halves now. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And that's a set of 21s. They are amazing, they're great. And you can go full scale across the board with that re that recipe, I want to say, I guess you could call it, that set factor across the whole board when it comes to curls, forearms, reverse curls, and all that good stuff. So it's a great muscle builder. Definitely gets you a great pump. And yeah, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. And again, this isn't just something that I'm trying to get you guys to jump out there and do some crazy shit, but this is stuff that you can do throughout the process. You can always do typical curls. So we'll say full blown muscle ratios. But what happens is you're only focusing on that, that muscle, I want to say, in one section, one full motion. There's no confusion to the muscle. And so with that, I really don't hit plateaus. I know it sounds crazy like, oh, I'm only as big as I can get, and then, and then, it's not the case. You got to switch it up. You got to keep your muscles guessing on the series of, of the theories of what you're doing in the sense of working out. And if you're looking to get big, there's different ways to do it, and still keep your your values as far as flexibility, strength, speed, and uh, density without having to pack on water. I know a lot of cats out there love creatine pre-workouts. Not I. And I'm gonna keep real with you. The hell? That was weird. But I'm gonna keep it real with you. I drink and I smoke. Sometimes I drink and smoke while working out. 
however it should go. But for what it's worth, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Bang, we'll call that a set. But if you notice the muscle continuously up and down, up and down, so there's going to be a different value of muscle blood, like muscles uh, form, blowing out, however you want to call it. There'll be a different, uh, a different look. So with that being said, there's a couple things I do in mind as far as my sets. You want to isolate. You always see me curl the weight down to my fingertips as, much, as best as possible. And, just before dropping, recurling, and pulling it back up. So not just a bicep, but it's a full stretch with the muscle and the weight, and also great for the hands and the strength in your forearms and stuff like that. So it's a process of multitasking different muscles within your arms. Now, for me, I gotta do legs and everything else. So we definitely will be doing full bodies, and we'll be doing body transitioning. I guess that's a hot thing in the market, but Realistically behind this, I know what I can do. I got actually a stretch machine coming to help me with flexibility range of hips and just getting my motions back. Because the one thing I did think that I never would miss was Taekwondo in some aspects, but I really did. The flexibility, the agility, the speed, the control, body control, all types of stuff came into balance, uh, came into a good, a great balance. So one of the things I highly recommend in that aspect if you're able to is some type of form or martial arts skill because yeah man as you get older it all tends to go away so right now I'm just going to kind of bounce around because this is what I love to do man pick up stuff and put it down pick it up and put it down and just work out you got to start somewhere and now granted I know a lot of y'all probably you ain't got no chest this that, and the other well I'll be honest I got a concave chest and yeah a lot of fun stuff you'll hear it cracking snapping and popping I'm pretty sure I'll go through that when I go through the stretches and stuff like that but I will definitely have that built up I'll show you guys some different push-up routines that I do some in, uh, suicide safe suicide benching once I can get to a level of having a bench and be able to show you guys how that uh, how that affect in motion as far as the difference changes the, the, the sculpting of the muscle in the chest. I know a lot of people may or not agree with it. I've tried, I prefer it, I love it to be honest. It's a great, uh, it's, a, it's a great exercise. It's different, it definitely is different. But you gotta do a smart, lightweight. I mean, at this point, again, less is more. So, with that being, we'll do some dumbbell curls hammer curls if you like of course dumbbells but hammer curls so I don't know it depends on you I always kind of switch it up typically I do about I can do about 20 of these bad boys so I'll do an isolation and then from the last once I hit 10 I'll do both of them because I feel like there's a different uh, muscle stress uh, as far as lifting both at the same time versus isolation one at a time right you're using more balance too so there's a lot that comes with but as far as that, we're just gonna three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do try and hit the shoulders, nine, 10, and then from there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. Typically, I will do more. I'm not gonna lie. I like to go till fatigue. But since we're playing this on the safe game, again, you don't have to do tens and twenties with me. Do it at your own pace, but try and get them in. Now, there's other ways of doing this as well. If you don't have the weights, like I was saying, uh, one of the great ways is using. I know, you can't really be soft about it but you can use ropes you can use sheets and if i had i'd probably jerry hook uh, jerry hook what are they called a swivel hook and be able to 
run that rope or that uh, sheet through that hook and making sure that there's, I don't know, there's a stud back behind there, maybe. But with that being said, on a sturdy four by four post, you can actually use your own your weight to counter that back and forth. You know, you can start up close and start just full extending, not even having to full extend. But at one point I'll show you guys a more frugal aspect of using ropes, sheets, or anything of that factor to go to take into consideration of outdoor workouts, in-house workouts. Just depends if you want to tear up your walls a little bit, put some holes in the walls, I should say. But with that being said, whoo, we're getting a little warmed up in here. So let's go. So we did uh, hammer curls. So I'm gonna do some reverse curls now. I'm gonna do these in the sets of 21s as well. I love the three motion pattern. I feel again, it's a better uh, muscle development in that area as far as blowing up in strength. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now you want to try to keep the weight straight as possible. You don't want to stress your wrist though. The last thing you want to do is get carpal tunnel or something in that fashion. So again, 10 pounds might be too heavy, go to five pounds. Five pounds might be too heavy, don't be afraid to go to the ones and twos. You got to put those blinders on and know that what you're in there for is for you and nobody else. I think that's a big misconception for a lot of individuals out there with the content creators that are showing perfection. They show you guys not what it took to get there, but what it, but the factor of where they're at and how you can get there. It makes no sense to me. So that's kind of why I'm starting where I'm starting. That's why I say, I like Mountie community, man. Straight up honest, supplemental values, this, that, and the other, man. It comes down to food, y'all. There is no fucking magic pills. Realistically, there isn't. So you can believe in it if you want. Manifest one, I mean, it is what it is, but it comes down to eating right and knowing how and when to eat. I can eat whatever I want at the age of 41, and your boy ain't packing on a dad box. You know what I'm saying? I can eat whatever I want, whenever I want, but I also know I gotta burn that, I gotta work that. For me, I do a lot of outdoor labor work. Some of you may or may not know me, but I do, I work in a greenhouse. So there's a lot of labor intensity, heat intensified days. And yeah, that's what kind of keeps me in shape. But doing this physically keeps me in shape. It makes my job out there a lot easier, regardless if it's carrying bricks or four by fours, whatever it might be, pipes, 25, 25 foot pipe, whatever. It starts to break you down. So with that, I want to break myself down and use that negative into a positive, you feel me? So that's where we're at and that's what the game plan is for me. And hopefully I can inspire you guys and motivate you to turn your stress into success and gain with me. Turn your life around, take, take the charge and make the change. It's all we can. If you live for somebody else, you're gonna be fine or not, you're gonna get left behind. You gotta do for you. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I messed up, so guess what? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Definitely gonna feel those. But as you can tell, I don't mean you're walking off camera or nothing like that, but whoo, your boy gotta walk it out there a little bit. But that's what it is. And like I said, all this around me, that doesn't fucking matter. If anything, it motivates me more. It lets me, reminds me of where I came from and where I'm at, which hasn't changed much. So, 
we're going to take any two gratifications as a fact. I don't know. Might not have came out wrong. That might have came out wrong. Your boy is spinning in the mind right now. The juices are flowing. The blood's pumping. Oh, this Project Silverback is in full effect. Y'all asked. Y'all wanted it. I'm giving it to you. Pure, raw, and uncut. No shade and bald. How do they say? No cap. So, that's where we're at. Gonna get big. Thomas, get big, O'Brien. Check me out on Instagram if you like. I'm there too as well. This ain't just some front profile shit. Y'all can find out probably more about me on that in the sense of food, dieting, physical transformations and all that. And again, I do it for myself. There's no one else out there that can make me do this. It's the fact that I want to do this. I know I can be better and I am better. I'm a motherfucking prop. The game might change, but I can conform to its format. You feel me? I want to be 72 and still oh, better shape than Arnold Schwarzenegger. Put them boys to shame. And that's another thing. There's a lot of motivators and mentors out there, but I watch them too. And if you ain't out there getting it in like they say it, then you ain't doing shit, man. It's lazy. And for, pre for the individuals that say that they can't, it's the biggest crop of shit ever because there's people out there that are no limbs and shit that are doing amazing things physically and activity-wise. So if they can fucking do it, then you're in pretty damn good shape round of applause buddy you played the game on yourself and nobody else if you want it let's get it the boy's starving and I'm getting it so we back at it matter of fact let's go ahead and grab the points slide these bad boys up here mind you I'm 41 years old y'all weighing in about 164 to 165 pounds about two weeks ago, real talk, I was about 155. To me, that was disgusting. Like, yeah, then uh, no, I don't know. I was looking unhealthy. And with unhealthy aspects comes problems, health-wise. So regardless of me smoking and drinking, we're trying to curb that, that uh, statistic, I wanna say. So you'll notice, for the weight aspects, I'm going to kind of take a horse stance here a little bit, use my legs as shocks like they're designed to be, and ba uh, like balance off the weight, and hopefully not put as much stress on myself as I need to as far as the back and stuff goes. But again, you want to get a good form, structurally sound, tuck the elbows in decently enough to where you're not spraining and straining. And again, I'm going to go for the 21s. Could be a problem. Let's see if we can do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, this is a bitch. I'm not gonna lie. Seven. And I don't think I'm gonna get those halfies. No when to stop. Woo! Yeah, buddy, shake it out. And granted, I know I got lights out and stuff, but I gotta adjust my own. Any more light, I feel like I got the sun going on in here. Don't judge. This is it, though. Sukasa workouts, my house, in the room, isolated workouts, get big, do it by yourself, you don't need a gym, and if you do go to the gym, put the blinders on, walk in that motherfucker with your focus, and what your goals and achievements are that day, I hear people talk about breaking PRs, I almost forgot what that even meant, well if that's your thing too, yeah, me, I just grow, Keep going. Get to the 50s. Once I get to the 50s, let's get to the 90s. Once we get to the 90s, man, I want to get to the 120s. It's crazy shit. Warm ups are 285 on the bench. I want to get back to that warm up. And that bad boy with a killer workout and bench out 385. With hopefully by the end of your air type stuff. Let's go. I'm going to show you how to get it. 
push-ups are another thing. 200 push-ups, just to let you guys know, start off with fives. Go five, 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 till you hit the 100. Double it up, and then go for tens. It gets easier, trust me. First two weeks suck, they definitely blow. That's why I say you don't want to injure yourself and want to take it easy. Get yourself back into shape. Definitely had to get a straight bar here. Not even so much straight bar, but this wrist is just always tends to be a problem. So we'll fix that. Do some wrist exercises and get the muscles around the wrist re strengthened back up. But that's it, guys. Simple stuff. And now, if they, let's say you want to start hitting the back of the eye swear. I don't want to curl out too much. Like I said, I did a little bit of warm up earlier and I don't want to overkill it. But now for the back, we'll start with the tens. Everybody knows about lawnmower pools and if you don't, you're about to find out. Me personally, I like to keep the bar at kind of like a, or I want to say the, the angle at about 45 and pull back. One, two, three. And you kind of want to go for that full stretch. So ideally, all the way to the max and pull up. Keep them nice and tight, lean into the body. You can keep your chest out a little bit. I don't have one, we'll get there. But realistically, nice solid movements. It doesn't that mean you have to go fast, nothing like that. I've already lost track of my count, so we're just gonna go until it burns and we'll swap. But this right here is great for shoulders and the back and a little bit of tricep too as well i'm not gonna lie you'll start feeling that bad boy so downside i don't even know you guys want to count that out and put it in the comments and let me know because hopefully i get about the same amount of numbers on this left side so a little bit but again you want to get wash your weight on your knee here and let the let it kind of relax nothing too crazy Come at that 45 degree angle and pull straight back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And I think, hopefully, that's about where the other arm came into play. Hopefully. But then, again, those are great little easy workouts to strengthen your upper back there. And they're called lawnmower pulls because basically, if you're a lean over engine prop pull, Cord engine pulls. So keep that in mind. Woo! Boys, cutting it up. It's getting a little warm in here, guys. But yeah, I'll show you guys sit ups and how I get those done. We'll go through some stuff and we'll do more recordings throughout the week. These should averagely be 20 to 30 minute workouts. And as I progress, it'll turn into an hour possibly two hours because it's just who I am and how I do things. Project Silverback, we don't stop, we keep moving. So keep that in mind. Construction workers are out there eight to 12 hours a day throwing brick and doing some crazy shit. Yeah, think about it. Ideally, I want to be able to get two workouts in, one in the morning, one in the evening, four hour days, Sundays, supposedly recovery day for a lot of individuals seven day however you like to get it me i like to do more calisthenics and some cardio work now i'm crazy two hours there hopefully i can build back up and that way i can keep the definition body weight ideal and uh yeah man turn up not gonna lie 
I wish I had some water or something. I think I'm gonna grab a bottle. I'm gonna go get some Zephyr Hills and I'll be back. We'll get into some other back workouts in two seconds. My key word though I gotta say is turn your stress and see success. I hope to God this thing's recording too. I didn't even look. It'd be a damn shame if it stopped. No, it's still going. We're rolling. Got the lights camera action. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. So if you guys like, you can go play your music, whatever. I don't want to get hit on YouTube for whatever. I definitely don't need music to keep me motivated. For me, it's the gains, the progress, the productivity, the peace of mind, because it is for me. It's a great place to take out your anger. Eventually, I'll be getting a heavy bag. We'll get back into some stuff. But, yeah, baby steps. Baby steps in the giant leap. Start from the bottom and grow. Just grow. We definitely got to start doing some more push-ups. I see it. More I, where I'm doing workouts, which I got some crazy tips and tricks for abs. I learned this stuff. We'll get there. We got some stories to tell. But with all of that knowledge, I'm going to try and share some wisdom and pass that along to you and you individuals out there that again are looking to do something for yourselves. And then hopefully with that, we create some leadership skills along the way. And who knows? Who knows where this path might take you, because I don't know where it might take me, but I know I have a lot of individuals out there that always ask me about what I do, how I do, the, like all that good stuff. So I don't know how to explain it all, but the best way for me, I guess, to do that would be through vlogging. So here we go. Project Silverback. Vlog one of who knows how many. Hopefully a couple of thousands, millions, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But with that being said, I just want to be able to document from day one, basically day one, and uh, show you guys the transformation from this to what I'm about to become. Target goal right now is 185 pounds with hopefully the bench of one, or I wouldn't say one, that would be, but with eventually like 285, leg press back up to the six, seven hundreds. Just crazy numbers. We'll get into that though as far as when I get to the gym aspects, which I pay for a gym. I've been paying for that bad boy for over the last two, three years. And realistically, I might have went like four or five times in that time span. And probably didn't even work, work out. I know some of them, I had no shower down, so I went in and had to take morning showers, whatever, because the shower wasn't working. But didn't even, no. Been on that page, put my blinders on, gotta go to work, let me get my coffee in skip this and skip that and get right to the source of money making and that's where now money making is definitely involved definitely number one priority for me in that aspect financial is always good bills paid and keeping things right got to but within that time frame that i have allotted when i'm down you guys will see a lot more videos from me and um trying to do the best i can to again record a lot of this stuff without having to uh keep it all choppy and stuff, I don't know. But I do the stuff throughout the day, so curls here, something a little there, dibble dabble throughout the day. So I'll try and figure out a way to get that on so you guys can kind of see what I do in those areas, it's like sporadicness, I guess I want to call it, spontaneous. So, but yeah, so we did some rows. I'm gonna go ahead and swap to the 20s. I'm gonna try and keep count on these. I'll go ahead and turn to a certain angle. Hopefully this will give you guys a little bit more of a Visual, visual representation. So again, not crazy. You don't have to extend your legs super far. Not you're just casual, chilling. Slight 45 degree angle. Keep the back nice and straight. So hopefully that's a better rep because I can see it in the mirror. It looks good as far as I know. So again, I'm gonna kind of go for a 45 degree angle, I believe here, and we're gonna just pull back. Three, four, five. 
and six, and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Set it down nice and easy. We're gonna swap legs, swap stance. Again, nice back and straight. And then go ahead and pull that bad boy up. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Woo, as you can see, muscle fatigue this in the left side, definitely. Woo, but in time, that'll all equal out. Muscle memory is another thing. Holy crikeys, the blood is pumping. Take deep, slow breaths as you can. It'll slow your heart down and you won't feel like you're having a cardiac arrest or a heart attack. However, jokes all aside. So we got two sets so far. Out of the two sets, I've done about 50 reps. So it's not bad. Not bad at all. Oh! Yeah, gotta start somewhere. And this is just the beginning of a, what do you wanna call, a base, a frame, a foundation. This is my foundation, y'all. Definitely get the feeling, I like it, I love it, and I want some more of it. Woo! Your boy's a little bit crazy too, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like we all are, but yeah, have fun. It's the imagination station. Lifting weights in your own creations. You do and be whatever fuck you want to get into. But you ain't gonna do shit sitting there, I'll tell you that. So get up and get in in. Other things you could do as far as just not even weight ratios, if I had give him a seated chair right now. Say off of the desk, not a desk. Well, let's say this is a chair, for instance. I could sit there. I could even shit. I could even do it here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can control the balance and the weight. Nine, ten, and the stretch. So I know I'm not tearing down muscles along the way. I think that's 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So if you can't do dips, that's a great way. But a chair is a little bit more easier. I want to say that it actually doesn't slide around on you. So if you got a chair you can put on carpet or something that doesn't slide, you can use your legs to balance out that and counter, counter react the weight that you're putting on your triceps. And as far as that, push ups even. You can build up your biceps, shorter range aspect, short push, build up triceps and biceps. You'll get a good pump. You'll see. Woo! Yeah. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And then people be like, oh, biceps and tricep days. Well, I don't know. That's the difference between me and them. No. Whew. Since I got those in, we'll do milk flies, drug flies, I don't know what you guys want to call them, but typically we would use milk jugs, fill them up with water, again, decent little horse stance, back's nice and straight, and all we're going to do is a butterfly and pull back. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So, yeah, that's how we did it. Silverback Nation. We'll get there, slowly but surely. Baby steps into giant leaps. I'm pretty sure once I throw this up, I'll probably get hit with, who knows? I don't even know. That's gonna be the fun part of it all, besides working out. But, this is the Diary of T-Bird and the Project Silverback Diary, I guess. Something of that, I don't know. I'm not a pro at this shit. I'm not a real content creator in that fashion. Just an average guy trying to get in shape. Keep my mentality straight, positive energies, good vibes. Got a, a life of productiveness. Like the list can go on, guys. And for me, I could walk it and I can talk it. In this case, I'm gonna do both and throw it down and show you guys. Anything's fucking possible. Anything is possible. You can think it, it can happen. Manifestation, all that good stuff. bodybuilder but nobody want to lift that heavy ass weight ain't that the damn truth <sighs> gotta get it how you live it play it how it goes product of my environment <sighs> be smooth how we do this is how we do see I play music in my head too man I'll be flipping my own shit though <sighs> TJ the DJ mixing it up on the ones and twos left side right side of the cranium <sighs> so again same thing nice balance center back one two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten. <sighs> don't want to go too ham. I don't want to try to have a pull back out. Muscle spasms tomorrow, nothing crazy, but that's two sets of back flies, jug flies, whatever you want to call them. <sighs> yeah. Signs up. Where do you at, though? Project Silverback coming at you though. And trust your boys when to get wickedly big. I'll be right back though. Let me go ahead and I'll show you guys. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and pull it right off of this bad boy. I'll give you guys a quick rundown. All typical shit. Bam, it's basically what I'm taking. And with that being said, there's a lot of good shit in there. So if you want to pause the screen, take a look at it. Four scoops, and with those four scoops, you're looking at close to all that. And besides that, bananas, two raw eggs, probably half a cup, three quarters of a cup of uh, yogurt. And then as far as the other product I take, bang, bang, not crazy, it's all legal. And then every day I start my day with my CBD product and that keeps me, that keeps me going. Personally, I feel that supplementally. So that's just one of those things. If you guys like to know, hit me up, leave some comments and I'll drop some knowledge along the way. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was just a quick 45 minute little workout, give or take, with some uh, muscle pumping strains, strain, strainage.
don't know. I'm trying to work on some stuff. Not too bad for a first time stream though, I hope, and I hope you guys enjoyed. It's crazy. You gotta look at this little dot over here. It's so impersonal. Uh, is it? I don't know. It just feels weird to me. But yay, it's your boy. See? It's your boy <laughs> signing out, clocking out. Project Silverback. Get up and get right, y'all. Holla at your boy. Drop some comments again. Likes, like, subscribe, and comment. Is that how the thing? Yeah, something like that. But either which way, I'll hit you guys up. I'll comment back on the things that you ask or anything along the lines. And if I don't know, I'll find out and try and get you the best answers that I possibly can within a reasonable time. Other than that, enjoy your weekend. It is Sunday. February 6th already. Gosh, this year's going to go by quick. So, let's get it together. Get big. Get swollen. Gain some knowledge. And with that being said, live work, health, wealth, and knowledge. You like how I transition colors here? Do, 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 do. It's fucking crazy. Hope you guys enjoyed, though. And if you did, like I said, like, subscribe, and comment on some stuff. And let's make some magic happen, y'all. Out. Your boy's out. Bleep.